EastEnders legend Phil Mitchell could be left for dead in upcoming scenes on the BBC soap as it seems one Walford resident will want to get their revenge on the notorious gangster. Phil, played by Steve McFadden, has already faced death once this year on EastEnders when his house went up in flames, no thanks to Janine Butcher, Charlie Brooks. However, he could be once again in the firing line as the events of when his ex-wife Lisa Fowler, Lucy Benjamin, shot him might just repeat themselves. After being on the BBC soap for over 30 years, could his time finally be up as HES killed by none other than Kim Fox, Tamika Empson? The drama begins in upcoming episodes on the weeknight serial drama as Kim tells a shocked Phil she knows her husband Vincent Hubbard, Richard Blackwood, was murdered. Phil had told Denise Fox, Diane Parrish, this information and told her to keep it a secret over fears the men who killed Vincent could turn up on their front doors. As Kim pursued an investigation, making it more likely the murderers were going to find out about Vincent's death being brought back up, her sister told her everything. She has been sitting on this for a few weeks now and with Phil knowing the truth is out, he tells his partner Kat Slater, Jesse Wallace, he didnt kill Kim's husband. Feeling sympathy for the mother of two, Kat urges the gangster to go and speak with Dennis's sister about what really happened. Opening up to Kim, Phil pours his heart out to her and explains how Aidan Maguire, Patrick Bergen, ordered the hit on her husband. Instead of thanking the gangster for talking to her, Kim loses her cool and tells Denise she wants revenge on Phil for his involvement. With this in mind, there is a chance she would want to see the king of the Mitchell Empire dead, an eye for an eye. What twists the knife even further is the quirky character realizes Phil is the one who will be paying for her daughter's private school education. As she demands answers, she grills her sister, asking her if he knew the whole situation regarding Vincent before she did. Denise can't lie any longer and admits she knew Phil had a part to play but didnt want the mother of two getting more upset. Kim is left utterly devastated by all the betrayal she has suffered but her sister tries to make amends and explains herself. The owner of the hair salon tells her when she chose to let Phil pay for everything, but not how she lied to her sister after Phil's lawyer got the deeds to the salon back from troublesome Cherie Truman, Suzette Llewellyn. Not wanting to seem too down about it all, Kim puts on her bravest face and organizes her sister a hen party ahead of her wedding later this month. Unfortunately, she overhears a conversation between Denise and Kat and learns her sister owes Phil money now.